Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, it's September 8th, 2019. Well, our little fledgling typewriter society is meeting once again here at the Albuquerque Press Club, and hopefully we'll have a pretty good turnout. I brought two machines of my own, my uh, Smith Corona Silent Super that I've had for a few years, and I got a new Smith Corona Silent Super a few weeks ago at a thrift store. It's not totally up to 100%, but it types and has a new ribbon in it. I brought it along, and then I brought, what is it, an Underwood, I believe, that was a fixer-upper for one of the members of the club. So brought that to give back to her. Got some spare ribbons, correction tape, some paper, postcards, postcard stickers and all that in case people want to do some letter writing. Well, so the J key was the worst one. Yeah. You'd tap the J and it would stick there. Right. But all the armatures and everything were fairly free. So this is the same problem that happened with my grandma, uh -huh. where you'd get the type bar slug was all the way up at the upper position. Yeah. And I think it was actually jamming oh, in, the in the slot because the actual arm was right. just was slightly slightly tweaked. bent. Okay. The only way that you could really tell that it was different is if you actually the looked spacing, at the J slug. The, the, the spacing the, between them. Exactly. Uh. It was just slightly off. And so I I tried playing around with the uh, uh, yeah. just the uh, the, the positioning, yeah, yeah. and even just with a very light touch, you nice. could. Nice. So now you should be able to do up. that. Do that test by releasing the uh, the uh, universal bar underneath. So if, if we you release the universal bar, like hold that. it. Yeah, and then we'll just do that. Nice. Nice. Fantastic. I'll send you my bill in the mail. Okay, do that. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> so what we have here is a Roxy, which is like a Roy. And the escapement isn't working. It's not moving the carriage when you space or when you type character. And we're, we're deep into surgery now. We have the patient opened up. There's blood everywhere on the table. Yes, we're cleaning up the, uh, thank you, Kevin. Nurse, Nurse Kevin is cleaning up the, yes. Oh yeah, you have to wipe your forehead. That's right. And uh, that's right, that's right. And, uh, and so we're trying to figure out one of the dogs in the escapement may not maybe stuck or something. So Bill here is cogitating on a little piece of metal. He's studying. It's taken six gin and tonics. Six, <laughs> not even five, six. I can't even hold that. This is the thing out of the escapement, out of the Ro Roxy typewriter, and it it wasn't. It says Rui on the. It's on Rui, yeah. It's, it's Rui. Rui brand Roxy model. Yeah. Well, here we have a, a, a particular issue. This 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 little piece here controls the escapement of the typewriter, meaning whether the carriage goes this way or the carriage goes this way. Now, typically we like the carriage to go both ways, but only when we want it to go. So, what 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 happens here, folks, is that there's a crown gear connected to the carriage. That's the part that goes back and forth on a normal typewriter. Not like the folks that use IBM Selectrics. Right. Yeah, but there's a crown gear here that meshes with the teeth of the gear mesh with this this little hook here and this little angle here. Okay, so when this lever goes this way, it's gonna stop the crown gear from turning this way. If it, when this when this lever goes back this way, it's gonna stop it from turning turning this way. Got it? Got it. Alright. Well what's happened here, folks is that in the course of time, there was a little tab, there was a little piece of metal that came up off of this, this, this piece here, came up here and stopped that little, that little arm. Okay, folks, you see it arm. out there in TV land, it stopped that arm right there. Yep. Okay, now it goes all the way back. So what happens is, is that this thing locks up against the crown gear. And it locks it up. And it locks it up. And so that no matter how much you, you turn this, that baby is just locked solid. Yep. And so the carriage will only go one way, but of course yep. we want it to go both ways when we want it to go, not when the typewriter wants it to go. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do here, uh, 
and it's going to take great great ingenuity. In fact, let's put a let's put a let's put a um, a couple of gels on this thing for you for, for you folks, so that um, you know there's there's no mistake. So there's the uh, oh yeah, my light my lighting designer just arrived. Uh, so there's there's the remnants of the tab. You see that, folks? You, yeah. you see that? Yeah. All right. There's the remnants right of it. The edge of that. And so what we've got to do is we've what 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 what, what Joe's next assignment is. <laughs> yeah. Is he, we've got to rebuild that little tab so that it sticks out just enough. And you see this, folks, it's just going to stick up just enough to catch that little arm. See how that arm just falls yeah. right into there, and yeah. just like a baby. Just like a baby. Just like a baby in, her, in his mother's arms, or her mother's arms. Just like that. But right now, watch what happens. Say, no good. Okay. Good, no good. Yeah. All right. So what we're thinking of is that maybe we can fashion a piece of metal and kind of wrap it around here, kind of run it along this surface, and then bend it, bend a piece down over here, and then up, up this way. What do you think, yeah. uh, folks in our in our in our listening audience? You know, we have a studio audience here, but um, they're, they're, they're busy they're, they're busy typing. Yeah. Uh, and so, what do you think, folks? Send us in, send us your comments because. Because Joe needs them. Joe needs them. Yeah. That's right. And Kevin needs his typewriter fixed. Right. Or he needs a typewriter fix. He needs a typewriter fix. Yeah. So send us your cards and letters and, and, and good wishes and so on and so forth. Good night. So we have fashioned. Bill here has fashioned a repair that we are going to try out here. There is a bent piece of paper, cl paper clip. Uh, that is wrapped around it's high strength surgical high steel, strength say, surgical that? steel that's wrapped around and forms a little bent down tab that's, that makes this arm that's high operate like that Swiss and we're going to install it in the machine and see if it fixes it okay after reinstalling the escapement look at what we have now look at that Yes, it works. And that's with the paper clip made part. Paper clip part down there. It's gonna need more work, obviously it's not done, but we have a functional escapement now. Now and we're gonna put a ribbon in to see if we can actually, yes. if it imprints a character or not. Yes, exactly. Well, it's the next morning and we had a really fun time at the meeting. We. Um, sort of ended up splitting up into this typical male-female group where the guys were all tinkering with typewriters and the ladies were enjoying doing some actual writing. So I really want to, in the future, try to get the group a little more focused on the same activities, more about writing and stuff. And of course, this particular meeting, the theme was about maintenance. So Kevin did bring his Roxy Roy typewriter and uh, we did have a fun time uh, tinkering with it. And we actually did a lot more with it than I thought we would in terms of being able to diagnose the problem, actually remove the escapement mechanism from the machine and figure out it had a broken tab, a little piece of metal that was broken off. and. Bill was able, one of our members was able to actually fix that with a makeshift part he made from a bent paper clip and we actually got the machine back together and got the escapement running. That, that machine will need more work of course. It's not done. It needs a lot of work. Kevin's going to be working on that or I'll be helping him with it maybe. So it was fun and I look forward to next month's meeting, October meeting. Hopefully we'll have some special things going on. and. Uh, but I wanted to encourage you guys that if you live in a community where you don't have a strong social network of typewriter aficionados, you might want to consider actually starting to grow your own. And that's kind of what I've done in the last couple of years here in Albuquerque is working on building our own social network, a local group of aficionados. It started by hosting or by putting on public typewriter events, type-ins. But after the type-ins began regularly, every six months we would do them, 
Then it got to the point of building a strong relationship with a fellow typewriter aficionado, in, the, in this case Kevin, and then from there we had the sort of the energy, the group energy to begin starting our own society. So it's real important, I think, that you find a partner in crime, so to speak, and work on it as a team effort. So, well, this is Joe. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, as always, stay creative. And until next time, have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.